Hello everyone. I am on my way to pick up my aunt and to take her to the airport. So we're gonna see if full cell driving can take us to the airport today. I'm recording this section. I'm not gonna record the highway. Um, it's just to, it's kind of boring just to make the video shorter. But um, I am gonna record this section here because um, I wanna see how it gets on the on-ramp. I've only tested um, beta 9.2 Hey! Yeah, of course. They did not fix the GPS issue. Okay, well anyways, um, I thought it was gonna not freak out because I had that message up. But hopefully we can get the GPS to lock back on before we get to the highway. So we can have it. This is even worse than it was previously. There it goes. Now it's locking back on. Okay. In 500 feet, turn right to take the interstate. What's it doing? <laughs> okay, so this is def definitely improved. This is exactly how I wanted to go. So this is for sure improved. Uh, I hit the camera button enough so they finally rerouted how the car goes through that, that intersection there. It's still breaking a little bit here. It's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if pressing the camera button does anything. I don't know if it really does, but it needs to get up to speed quicker. Okay, so now it's getting up to speed. And it should turn on the blinker automatically. I'm gonna confirm. And no double lane change was what, this is exactly what we wanted. It just needs to um, get better, uh, more confidence going up that on-ramp. But I'll uh, return once we're off the highway. And we're about to get back off the highway here. I'm just trying to see how it gets off this exit. As you can see, it's just a short exit ramp. And then we have a truck coming here on the right, so this is gonna give it, see what it does. So it's slowing down better. It's turning on the blinker at an appropriate time. It needs to get over right there. This is better than it has been, but it needs to get over earlier still, for sure. What I might start doing is start pressing the camera button um, at this situation to see if they can like figure it out from the camera of why it needs to get over earlier Here we got a truck coming up on our left. We'll see how my car handles it It's waiting. Oh, no, it got up um, Okay, well wait. The truck got over for me and my car got back over because it thought I was gonna go go into my lane so I manually slowed it down to the speed limit that's up ahead right here is 45 right where that black truck is is 35 I would like again the car to automatically know the speed limit coming up and adjust for the speed appropriately from there okay so that's improved the fact that it didn't keep on braking when the truck was turning. It started accelerating as the truck was turning. So again, that's path prediction. It braked for there, but wasn't as bad as it used to be. It could have slowed a little bit, but it didn't need to brake as hard. And so right here, it still, it needs to accelerate more. Um, so that was not improved like the previous truck. I'm waiting for the day we have to have get out of the way of one of those and see how the car responds. That's for sure an edge case. I've only had that happen to me twice ever. Either where I had to get out of the way, like, well, like actually get out of the way. Like it's behind me and I have to move over to the curb or something. So several other times where it's just, you know, it goes right past me. But um, that's obviously something that has to happen before level four is possible. So I just turned the blinker on there manually because it, it needs to get over and this truck is getting over in my lane without a blinker. Thanks truck. Um, but, we need to be in the far left, uh, yeah, far left lane.
for this turn up here. I'm gonna see if it takes the left, get in the left lane at the light, past the light here. And now it's gonna have a challenge because it didn't get in the left lane early enough, it has to deal with traffic to get over in the proper lane. In 1,000 feet, turn okay. left onto North Church Okay, Street. I'm gonna make it get over so I don't have to deal with traffic issues. Also, it's going the wrong route. It needs to take a left here. That's just strictly a nav issue. It should have took a left right there. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. That's probably why it didn't get over. Because it needed to take a left. I'm not sure why nav's not letting it take a left there. Well, we can certainly go this route. It just doesn't make any sense for where we're going. Okay, we need to get in the far left lane. Okay, I'm taking over. Um, again, nav issue. This would have been a zero disengagement drive had it not been for nav. It should have turned left, and it should have gone. That's it. That's not even a routing issue. That's straight up nav. Um, and so, the same thing. Oh, okay. Um, that's not a disengagement because um, I'm on storage on the right, but we're parking on the left. Uh, and that's really frustrating. And we would have got to our destination sooner. So, like, it just doesn't see this road here. Um, for whatever reason, it doesn't want to go down that road. It probably, it, that's probably why I thought it was a traffic issue. There's no cars on that road. So the traffic data is wrong. That's probably, probably why it um, didn't go down that road. Good chance, because it, because it thinks there's traffic. So I will bring you guys back after I pick up my hand. Hey everyone, since I'm not able to show you the video, I'm going to annotate as best as I remember of how this drive went. Uh, again, my aunt didn't want to be on video, so we're going to annotate uh, how everything went. So we left from downtown Hendersonville, basically from Edward Street. There's a parking lot right here. Uh, so we left from this parking lot, turned out here. Uh, everything went good. I had to, like normally, as you see, I take this 6th Avenue quite often onto Four Seasons right here. Uh, and I have to manually up the speed every time from 25 to at least 35, 40 before I eventually gets to the 45 mile an hour speed limit here. Make it all the way down here uh, before I even tell my aunt we're on full self driving so she didn't even know we're on it until we got down to uh, midway down 64 here. And then of course we got to all the way through here with no disengagements until we got here. Uh, it almost missed this on-ramp. It had a little hesitancy getting onto the on-ramp right here. And maybe I'll enable that so you can see the stuff. See it, the lines and everything. But it made, it slowed down, did at appropriate speed going around this. Fortunately, we did not have the cars when we got onto the ramp or back here. Uh, and so th we did have to disengage here though. So as you've seen from my videos, when you're getting off this ramp right here uh, it's a very short entrance and then you have cars that are coming on the highway as well and so it's a kind of a challenging situation sometimes at least for the car but um, it almost took this off ramp instead of merging onto the highway there was a car coming on my lane and it actually got over into the left lane to allow me to get onto the highway I had to take over and cross this line right here to get onto the highway uh, there are a couple spots, I think, just to improve smoothness um, for my ants. I think I had to adjust speed several times on the highway. We did it against some traffic. There's construction all up and down, up and down the highway here. Um, but otherwise, we made it all the way to the exit here. And getting off the exit was okay it could have been smoother it should have slowed down a little bit more gracefully um, but it was acceptable uh, here was almost a mistake so it wanted to go straight pretty bad it did make it left right here uh, I, it got in, it needs to get into this right lane it did not do that it actually got in the left lane right here and because of that uh, you'll find out shortly uh, we have to get in the right lane right here for the airport there was two cars next to me in the right lane, and I was in the left lane. Um, so we got up here. 
uh, and there was we got stopped at this light right here and then um, uh, once we started going I had the uh, we well, actually know we did go through this intersection right here when these crossed intersections and then this is not actually where we entered the airport we enter you enter it down here for drop-off for the terminals and so I actually had to uh, take over and get in front of the car so we could get in this this correct lane to turn lane right here and so then we can go in and I did not have it enabled coming through the terminal there's a little speed limit sign right here uh, most like it would have been it's 10 mile an hour through here there's a speed limit sign they know to make you aware of how fast you're going uh, but otherwise um, I don't think I took a video of it afterwards. I I did go from the airport I back through Mills River and grew to a dog park there. Um, that did surprisingly well, um, uh, crossing some traffic and everything else like that. But again, we had I think it's like two or three disengagements uh, because it got in the wrong lane. And the main disengagement of note is uh, getting onto the high. Oh, I moved it. But getting onto the highway right here. I was definitely not very confident in getting onto the highway. Merging on the highway seems to have been degraded on this version. It seemed to be more confident. I think before version 8.2 seemed to be pretty confident. And then with Vision, it definitely has um, increased issues with merging onto the highway. Hopefully, the single stack with version 10, I believe it is, that combines both of these will significantly enhance that and I, I think it's just a swap over going from full self-driving and right in this area it swaps over to navigate an autopilot and that delay causes it to have issues but as always everyone I appreciate you watching this is a little bit different video from normal but um, I will see you in the next one bye